Hey guys, guess where I am? Just guess. Just guess. Here we are. Once again. Does this one have your name on it? Not, not yet. No, this isn't my reserved room. I'm sorry if I sound a little sluggish. I'm on some pain meds. I decided to test gravity again today. I was standing on a swivel chair, uh -huh. dusting the shelf unit. While I was asleep. Yeah. And, and why did you do that? Because Kevin didn't get me the ladder last night. And where was the ladder? In the truck. And why didn't you just go get it out of the truck? Because the chair was closer. <laughs> How did that work out for you? I have a bruised hip and a bruised shoulder. Miss Valerie, you're due for your foot exam, okay? You're gonna go with your dog, remind them that you need a foot exam. A foot okay? exam? Yes. Okay. Right. So, I'm gonna rest and take pain meds at home. Run on me! <laughs> hey everybody. Hey Mojo. Yeah? Alright. Wow. You have a lot to say today. Hey baby girl. Yes, you too. So, yeah, we already had that. Oh, there she is. <laughs> oh, Mojo's attacking your uh, Daryl now. Hey! <laughs> ah! Don't do that, it hurts. So, tell everybody what happened. I was standing on one of those red chairs. Over there. And why was you standing on a red chair? Dusting those shelves up there. And why were you using a chair? Because Especially a swivel chair? Because you didn't get me the stepladder out last night like I asked you to. And you couldn't get it out yourself because... It was in the truck and I didn't want to go outside, so I grabbed the chair instead. Mm-hmm. And I only slept for about maybe an hour last night. So, I used the chair. And? And you came out and pushed me off the chair. <laughs> uh-huh. I fell off the chair and I landed on my left side back side like and hurt my hip and my shoulder and pretty much threw my whole back out of whack nothing's broken but i have bone bruises so luckily she fell on her head so she didn't get too hurt can you all turn your heads away for a moment? <laughs> no poop emoji today? No poop emoji today. <laughs> so, so obviously we spent a good part of this morning in emergency. We didn't know... Actually, we went by ambulance because... We didn't know whether she broke anything or not. She was in severe pain. And so we'll see how that bill turns out. It's going to yeah, be fun when we get it. I couldn't even roll over from the position I was in, which was kind of on my left side a little bit. I couldn't even roll over flat because it hurt so much to even move. So Kevin called an ambulance, and we had five EMT people here. And I went in an ambulance to the hospital. And you all know how much I hate going to urgent care or emergency for anything. 
Yeah. I had as soon as Kevin walked in the room, he was still sleeping. I was laying here calling for him. As soon as he walked in the room, I said, I got to go to the hospital. Yep. I knew it was bad. Well, thankfully, it wasn't too bad. <laughs> it's bad every time you walk into it. Well, you <laughs> need to put a sign on that thing. Well, I wanted to sit down because I wanted you to take the camera. Okay. Oh, good God. All right. Well, I wanted to tell you guys of what's been going on for the last two weeks with me. We had a, a paint job over the last two and a half weeks now. And um, it was became the, it became the paint job from hell, i got to tell you. I'm not going to give you any details about who we painted for, but um, just know that Dave and I looked at the paint job and thought we could make um, some money and uh, get about a one week's job out of it and uh, it was really lower than anybody would charge so they couldn't say no that kind of thing so we thought we were going to be in and out in a week and um, yeah that didn't happen that way of course they said yeah that sounds great uh, turns out the house is about 2,000 square feet but uh, we thought, yeah, we could do this. You know, there's two of us, and we're very willing to put in long hours, and we did. We put in like three or four 16-hour uh, days to get this thing done. And um, the problem, of course, was the, uh, the homeowners kept changing things. They kept complaining about things, kept adding things. And, it, you know, you'd think that as... A, um, you know, someone who's doing this that I would just say, well, it's going to cost more, it's going to cost more. Well, it would have been easy to do that except for how they did it. Now, I don't know if they did it on purpose. I kind of think they did. Um, I was kind of warned that these people might do this to me and I was thinking, eh, it's a paint job. What can go wrong? But go in the first day and they say, we want you to paint the ceiling, the walls, and the baseboard. Simple, right? First day we get there, the guy's tearing the baseboard out. So, and, he, and I'm going, what's up with the baseboard? Don't worry about the baseboard. It's being taken care of by the flooring guy. I go, oh, okay. So we're not doing baseboard now. So uh, the, the next day they come up to me and says, you, can you put in crown in one room? I go, yeah. But, if, you know, it might cost a little more. I'm thinking we're not doing cr uh, baseboard. Put it in. And can you put some electrical sockets in? We need some replace. Sure. Fine. We're painting. We're painting. And then it's, uh, we want you to do two coats of paint. We didn't talk about two coats of paint. They had a, a good quality paint, and we could have done it in a single coat. Paying attention. Okay. First coat before the baseboard goes back on. Second coat afterwards. And we're going, what about, what do you mean? I thought the baseboard was uh, being done by the flooring guy. Yeah, but you're still painting it. No, you said, don't worry about the baseboard. Oh, don't worry about replacing it. We didn't talk about replacing it. You told us, stop worrying about the baseboard. So we added two more things so that they don't feel cheated. And, and it turns out we ended up getting cheated. Now, clever of them, maybe, maybe not. They's like, their English not good, so... Well, they didn't understand what they were saying, but I think that Dave and I have been had, basically. I would think so. And uh, we worked so many, and it turned into a two-week job, and we made very little money out of it. Mm-hmm. So, very depressing, very sad. I ended up letting into the lady uh, on the second to the last day about how unhappy I But she started complaining. Didn't like this. Didn't like that. Why is there spots on the wall? Why is this? Why is that? If you can't do it right, I'm going to find somebody who will. That kind of complaining. After just putting in, you know, 16-hour days to forget them done in time. No and didn't she lie to you about moving in? Oh, well, the, the, everything kept changing. The, the time they moved in kept changing. Well, you can't paint the second coat until the, the flooring is down and the baseboard is up. I said, why? Because, because of dust. I said, well, 
dust is going to be there anyway, and you know the we can get the walls done before dust, before the flooring dust. <laughs> but the flooring guy won't be done until uh, Saturday, and you you need to do second coat Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Uh, okay, so it's getting longer, and the floor, uh, window guy's coming. We, we show up to do some work and there's they're putting in windows and the place is just full of dust we can't we can't paint and when we said we we're gonna go home they flipped the lid you said you'd paint today we can't your window person is in the rooms that we need to paint so and they made it here they made it so that Kevin ended up having to go to work on the day of Anthony and Amber's wedding. So, so I missed I missed Anthony and Amber's wedding. Yep, he missed the wedding. And even worse, um, Dave missed his grandson's birthday. In that and and all because they said if they didn't show up for work they were gonna replace them. And uh, we hadn't been paid yet. Yep. So we were we thought and I called up some, the person who who had recommended this and said, um, how well do you know these people? Because I think I'm about to get royally ripped off by them. And they said, well, they're, they're not like that. They don't understand. But you, you got to realize that they're going to get every cent out of you. They can. It says, make sure you have it all in writing, which we didn't, because this was one of those jobs that, you know, spur of the moment kind of thing. We thought that, um, and I knew these people already from a, a, another job, but wow, it was it was just the job from hell. And we worked so hard, We our fingers were cramped, our legs were cramped, Dave's knees were going out, my back was going out, and I think we made like um, maybe $6 an hour. It's horrible so, to be treated like that. It was, it was pretty sad. So. And then, anyway, guys, on a different note, Ma! <laughs> we said note. we were going to do shout outs tonight, but with the happenings um, of the, the morning, uh -huh. I still haven't finished responding to all the comments. Um, and I'm kind of medicated right now uh -huh. so I'm unable to finish that today hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to respond to the rest of the comments I can't even talk right comments and we will try and get to shout outs tomorrow yep so please just be patient with us we know there's a lot of people out there that are waiting for shout outs. They are still coming and um, we will try and get to them as soon as we possibly can. Okay. So, you have anything else to say before I wrap it up? Nope. Alright. We hope you enjoyed a little bit of something that you may have seen in this video today. It's okay to laugh at me. I've tested gravity. From coast to coast. One too many times. <laughs> Please give this video a favorite. Give us a thumbs up. Leave us a comment down below. It may take me a little while, but I do get back to each and every comment. Share this video with your family and friends. But, most of all, please subscribe and... We will see you all tomorrow. <laughs>